What's going on everybody, it's Blackjack. Welcome back to the Aurora Red Foxes Dynasty. As you're now winners of six in a row, now bowl eligible Aurora Red Foxes will take on the New Mexico State Aggies and quarterback Nick Jaunty. That is a name that has terrorized us over the past two years as that New Mexico State Aggies offense has been problems for us in the past two games that we played them in. We have not held them under 35 points in any of those games. But this looks to be a different year. They are 125th in the nation in scoring, averaging 15.7 a game. And they are coming into a rocking Red Rock Stadium that now boasts an attendance of nearly 33,000 per game. And we are here today at Red Rock Stadium in Aurora, Colorado to take on the New Mexico State Aggies, who, as mentioned, we have not beaten thus far in the three years in Aurora's existence. The first game, I think many of you remember as the two Brian Swift drops at the end of the game, which stopped us from going into overtime. And then in year two, we were stomped by New Mexico State, causing Mike Hayes to come in the game and really start the quarter quarterback controversy last year. But here we are with kickoff underway. Cam Frazier back deep to receive this one. A bomb of a kick as he just takes a knee in the end zone and the offense will come out for the first time today. And it's Chandler Gaines in at quarterback as they come out with four wide. It's going to be a read option handoff to Timberlake straight up the middle as he picks up a gain of 10 yards on the first play from scrimmage, taking us to the 35. First and 10 now from the gun. They go three wide, one tight end. They're going to go to O for Rej over the middle. It's a very tight window there, but squeezes it in perfectly. And Chuck O for Rej holds on despite the contact for a gain of eight. Second and two, inside handoff. This one goes to David Blanchard. That's an unexpected surprise as he gets a carry here and he picks up five in the first down. First and 10, offset eye. Blanchard in at fullback. Here's Timberlake now bouncing off a few of his offensive linemen as he shuffles to the left and gets near the first down marker as he picks up 10. They're gonna mark him short so they'll call it second and inches. Third and inches now. Here's Timberlake from the backfield. Carry takes it to the outside, picks up 10 yards there, and that is enough for the first down. More than enough. Probably could have picked up another first down there if he wanted to. Second and 10 now. Timberlake taking the carry out to the left and picks up about seven. And that'll make it third and three now for Aurora. Gaines going play action. Going out to his right, trying to find a man. Can't find anything. And oh, uh, well, last minute, dumps it off short to Oparije. He was to come back for that one. And he picks up the first down, hanging on to it. His third reception of the drive. That one goes for 14. Now first and 10. Gaines changing the play call. Doesn't like what he sees. More changes here as the clock winds down to three. Gaines now looking. Throw over the middle. That one's caught. Cam Frazier as he picks up his first reception of the day. And that one goes for six on the slant pattern. Second and four, and now here's Gaines again changing the play. Whole different formation here. He sends Oparije and Blanchard out wide. And now here's Gaines looking, quick throw over the middle, gets the defense, sees that they were setting up a blitz and just throws the chuck right over the middle. Touchdown. Perfect drive there by Chandler Gaines. And now the Aurora defense gets off to a start here as Brandon Leonard gets nowhere on that handoff, actually loses one. Quentin Cage coming up there to make the tackle for a loss. Second and 11, however, pass over the middle here to Jackson Solbeck. The tight end will take it for eight yards, and it'll be third and three. Here's Nick Jaunty, the quarterback we gotta look out for today as he breaks the tackle and now gets an open field. And he gets hammered down by the free safety Sam Montgomery, but not before picking up 11 yards. Jaunty's ability to run is going to be the key today as this time he gets free again. Sakamoto whiffs on a tackle and Victor Van Slyke has to bring him down from behind after a gain of 20 as New Mexico State looks to get this offense rolling. They have scored at least 35 points in every game that we played them in. This handoff here going to Leonard as he sheds another tackle, breaks free into the open field and goes out of bounds as he's brought down by uh, Ishida Sakamoto after a gain of 22. Jaunty again, handoff to Watson this time as Robert Watson checks in but doesn't get too far. Connor Bruce able to drag him down from behind as he loses one. Here comes Solbeck in motion left. Jaunty now looking, can't find anyone. And Andre Swift and Connor Bruce have to team up 
to bring him down as they were watching Nick Jaunty the entire play, only a gain of three. Third and nine from the gun now. Jaunty looking, stepping up, gets rocked by Rangi Unatoa. And that'll force fourth and nine, and the field goal unit will come out for New Mexico State. Snap down, kick is up and through the uprights as the Aggies get on the board, but Aurora's defense holds them to three. First and 10 now, Frazier comes in motion to the backfield. It looks like they're gonna go slot option there, but Timberlake gets the take carry straight up the middle, gashing hole as he goes ahead and picks up 20 yards. What a performance thus far by Timberlake as he's already at 56 yards. Now Gaines rolling out left here on second and 10, trying to find Looked like DJ Smith there, not able to get enough there as he was rolling to his left and had to throw across his body. Now third and 10. Quick throw over the middle to Cam Frazier, but it's not gonna be enough for the first down as he only gained seven. And that'll take us to the second quarter where Aurora will go for it. Gaines now fourth and three from about midfield. Gaines able to slip through and bravely go and split to the, the two defenders and pick up the first down. Gaines now on first and 10, pumps right, throws over the middle and that's picked off. It's Billy Nip. The middle linebacker saw it the whole way and jumped in front of it to go ahead and pick that one off in New Mexico State. Regains possession. This is a dangerous situation here for Aurora. They, the defense really has to step up here as this pass goes over the middle to Jonathan Booth as he takes that one for a first down after a gain of 13. First and 10 now. Jaunty, he pumps left this time, almost like a similar play. Throws that one up for grabs, and Ashita Sakamoto able to bat that one away, and Victor Van Slag tried to dive for the interception, but it'll fall incomplete. Jaunty now on second and 10, he's gonna run. He's gonna keep it himself, gets a block. Jaunty out to about the 33 yard line, as Victor Van Slag hit him, and he went in the air, and then got flipped over as well by Dante Devine. That looked nasty. Leonard now takes the carry straight up the middle as he picks up the first down on first and 10, a gain of 10. Now first and 10. They've got trips left, Jaunty looking left, throws, and it's intercepted! Ishmael Finn Michaels as, uh, and it looks like Sam Montgomery provides a block for him as Finn Michaels returns this one to about the 37 yard line. What a great jump on that ball by Ishmael Finn Michaels and Aurora's offense is back on the field. Time for Aurora to take advantage here as they go read option. Gaines crossing midfield to the 30 and shoved out of bounds at around the 27 yard line as they cross New Mexico's field. Gain of about 40 there for Gaines as this handoff goes left for Winslet. That is actually his first carry of the game. Whereas we're here in the second quarter, Timberlake's been the hot hand thus far as he gains three. Second and seven. We're looking to get inside the red zone now. Gaines gonna have to roll out right. Throws over the middle. Touchdown! Cam Frazier! What a throw on the crossing pattern on the run. That was amazing there. Chandler Gaines, it looked like he was gonna run for it and then last minute saw Frazier and just slung it in there. And now the defense comes up with a play. It's Quinn Cage who pops the Jake Jaunty and Andre Swift scoops and scores. Aurora takes a commanding 20 to three lead as Quinn Cage provides the pressure and Andre Swift does the rest. Aurora now up 21 to three. Those were two back-to-back -back scores as Jaunty keeps it himself, and New Mexico State's offense is now on the ropes. Second and three now. Jaunty gonna go read option and hands it off to Leonard. He sweeps right. Leonard, he was able to get the first down. I thought he was gonna go a little bigger than that, but only gets six as he's brought down from behind by Connor Bruce. There's another read option. Jaunty keeps it himself as Craig Kilgore and Andre Swift team up there to bring him down. Only be a gain of three. Second and seven. Tight end Solbeck moves in motion from his wing. And then Jaunty couldn't find anyone and he immediately gets leveled. And that looked like Montgomery Ward there to provide the hit and Jaunty is not getting up. He fell on his back pretty wicked, the lower back uh, part of his back. And they're gonna bring in their backup quarterback now. Here's Matthews on third and four, pumps left and just throws this one not near his receiver as he was covered. And that will force New Mexico State to punt. Now here's first and 10. 
Timberlake taking the give straight up the middle. He'll pick up a gain of seven as Aurora's defense has really stepped up big time. Now let's see if the offense can do their job here. Second and three. And off again to Timberlake. Timberlake breaks this out to the left. He's got some field there. A tackler misses. He crosses the 40 to about the 35 as he shoved out of bounds. Gain of 26 for Marcus Timberlake. Nearing 100 yards already. Now Vernon Winslet checks in to give uh, Timberlake a break. He'll pick up a gain of nine there and give us an easy second and one. Gains now in the pistol. Three wide, throw over the middle. That's easy. Isaiah Irving wide open on the crossing pattern. And he picks up 15 yards, bringing the Red Foxes down to about the 10. First and 10 now. Offset eye in the pistol. Timberlake going to take this one. Just takes what the defense gives him there on the zone. On the zone run. And he gets about a gain of four. That brings Timberlake to 93 yards. Gains now on second and six. Looking. Can't find anyone. Calls his own number. Touchdown, Taylor Gaines. From six yards out, Aurora now roaring over New Mexico State 28-3. What a turnaround over the years against New Mexico State as they look to go screen here as Nick Jonte comes back in the game. Here's Brandon Leonard not able to go too far on that screen play. Brought down after a gain of one by Craig Kilgore as they snuff that out. Now here's Leonard on a carry, and he has to be brought down from behind. That's the defensive tackle, Jean-Franc Lacroix. Now third and four. This will be a big stop for Rory here. Throw over the middle. Nope, caught. It'll be Matt Moore coming up with that reception for eight yards, and New Mexico State will continue to drive. Second and ten now. Handoff to Brandon Leonard going nowhere again. One yard lost. Quinn Cage, the Big man on defense today comes up with the tackle for a loss. Now here's Jaunty going deep and nearly picked off by Dante Devine. I thought for sure he had that one. And that will force New Mexico State to punt. First and 10 now for Aurora with 25 seconds left. A DJ Smith reception. That's a big one. That one goes for 25 yards. And if he could just type rope the sideline, that would have been huge. Now gains here on first and 10. Looking deep, I think he saw a man get open and just couldn't get it all fast enough. He'll lose nine there on a sack. But Aurora will take another shot here on second and 19. Gaines looking, throws deep. That one's intercepted. That was a ill-advised throw. I think he should have probably just bombed that one deep towards the end zone. And instead he looked for Oparije. But I mean, there's four guys in coverage there. That'll send Aurora into halftime as New Mexico State kneels it out 28-3. The Red Foxes will go into halftime with a 25-point lead. Despite the turnovers, an outstanding half of football from Aurora. You come up with four touchdowns, one of them on a scoop and score defensive TD. But Chandler Gaines, despite the two interceptions, has looked great today. And Aurora's defense themselves have been wonderful. An interception by Ishmael Ben Michaels, the forced fumble, and then scoop and score off of Quinton Cage. And now here comes New Mexico State's offense to face that daunting Aurora defense today as Nick Johnson just throws this one over his receiver's head out of bounds on first down. Now third and ten. Deep throw. Oh my! Nearly picked off again by Ishmael Finn Michaels, but somehow goes to his hands and into the hands of Jonathan Boone. That'll be a 30-yard gain, and that'll bring them near midfield. Aurora's got to be careful. New Mexico State is still a team that can put up offensive numbers when they want. We've seen that in previous years. And Nick Jonte still there at quarterback. Makes all the difference in the world as he picks up three there on the scramble. Third and seven now for New Mexico State. Here's Jonte looking. Pressured by Unatoa. Nearly. Whoa. How did he come up with that catch? Gamarquis Gurdy. How did even Jonte throw that one? That's enough for the first. Jaunty now on first and 10. Uh, Unatoa this time able to bring him down. I thought for sure Unatoa had him sacked on that last play. But that'll bring us second and seven. Now third and seven. They're going to set up the screen here for Leonard. Leonard trying to fight for that first down yardage. He's not going to get it. Dante Devine becomes the brick wall to shove him back. And now New Mexico State will settle for a field goal. This one from about 43 yards. Kick is up and good. The Aggies now close the gap to 22. 
And it will be a clipping penalty that will bring Aurora to start out at their own eight yard or seven yard line on this uh, possession. First and 10 as Gaines changes the formation here. Looks like they're going offset wing. Now Gaines will throw the double screen for Timberlake. He's got blocker. No, he doesn't. They had the screenplay set up perfectly there for Timberlake. And for some reason, both John James and uh, it looked like uh, Merriweather just did absolutely nothing on that play to provide any blocking for him. None, none the matter, though, as Timberlake takes that carry there for nine yards and crosses 100 yards on the day. Now first and ten. Frazier comes in motion left as uh, they have three wide receivers. It's going to be a counter here to Timberlake. Timberlake able to break it to the outside, to the 30, to the 40. One man misses, one man to beat, and he's dragged down from behind by him. 42-yard carry. Marcus Timberlake approaching 150 yards of a day. Now first and 10. They're going to try to go. It looked like a shovel option there, and they had everything sealed up there. There was no chance for success on that play. David Blanchard will lose four. Second and 14 now. And off to Winslet. He'll take it up the middle. Finds a hole. Able to stumble his way forward. And he picks up 10 of those yards back. Making a now manageable third and four. They come out with three wide in the pistol. Gaines now looking. He has to, he's getting flushed out right. And he sees some open daylight in front of him. And he'll take it. Slides down at about the 21 yard line. Chandler Gaines picks up 10. Now here's Gaines in the pistol again with split backs. Gaines tried to throw that one and got walloped as he let it go. Thankfully, it just falls incomplete. Third and eight now for Aurora. Gaines looking. Gaines throws this one over the middle for Cam Frazier. That was very dangerous in the triple coverage. He was open earlier, but he threw it way too late. Aurora settles for three. It's Nick Jaunty now. We'll take this one. And he keeps it himself for 14 yards in the scramble drill. Nick Jonte trying to breathe some life into his Aggies offense that has been stagnant pretty much all game. First and 10. Jonte stepping up and he's going down. Rangi Unatoa. Five yard loss there on the sack as he came from behind and brought him down. Second and 15 now. Jonte here to Gertie. And Gertie able to go ahead and pick up nine yards there on the reception. Now it'll be third and sixth now from New Mexico State. Jaunty. Looking. Stepping up in the pocket. Pressure bearing down on him. And he just kind of sidearms that throw straight into the ground as he's looking for his uh, receiver in the flat. And that will force New Mexico State to punt. And that punt results in New Mexico State immediately getting a stop on a screen play. Second and 15 now after the five-yard loss. Now here's Winslet trying to break this one to the outside, able to run through a tackler as he's brought down after a gain of eight. Should be a manageable third and seven here in the last play of the third. Throw over the middle to Winslet, angle route, picks up the first down. Ten yard gain there, Winslet gets hyped up. Now into the fourth quarter. First and ten, here's Winslet, they try to go power right and he gets absolutely nothing. As a matter of fact, he goes back about two yards. Third and 12 now for Aurora. They put Oferije a little out wide there, almost into a slot position. And over the middle is Isaiah Irving, wide open. Slant pattern. It's about as pitch and catch as you can get there. Second and 10. Here's Gaines, going out to his right again. The, the protection, uh, sorry, not the protection, the contain just is not there, and that allows Gaines to go ahead and run free. He picks up the first down after a gain of 10. Now first and 10 as they kind of revert back into the full house formation here. Gaines can't find anything. He's just got to dump this one over the middle to Winslet. Stiff arms the man out of his way and fights for that first down yardage. First and goal now for Aurora. They are not looking to take their foot off the gas pedal. Gaines throws out to his right here on second and goal. On the comeback there for Frazier, he couldn't hang on after the hit. It'll be third and goal. Aurora's still burning some clock here, and Gaines now changing the play call here. Is uh, Sinclair and Smith go out wide. So it'll be a four wide formation here. Gaines gonna try to throw to the back of the end zone for a jump ball, and that one gets picked off. That was not wise at all. Isaiah Irving is not the receiver that you try to throw a jump ball to. 
But thankfully, it is just in the back of the end zone. And now, New Mexico State will take over with a quick throw here at the Jonathan Boone. Right over the head of Ishmael Finn Michaels. Uh, a little short there at that corner position at 5'9". Easy throw for Boone to just uh, go ahead and go and catch with uh, Jaunty not having to do too much there as Leonard goes backwards on that carry for a loss of two. Jaunty now again here looking to throw. That time he can't throw it over his head. Ishmael Finn Michaels comes up with his second pick of the day. And he's brought down at about the 50 as he returns it. And Aurora gets yet another turnover. They tried to do it again using that height advantage, and Ishmael Finn Michaels shows off his bunnies. Third turnover for Aurora, as uh, for New Mexico State, as now DeSouza checks into the game with the rest of the second string offense, and DeSouza will go ahead and pick up 12 there on the read option. First and 10 now, DeSouza looking, going out to his right, can't find anybody yet, decides to throw this one, kind of sidearms in, and finds Ben Cyphers. That's a name we haven't said in a long time as he gets open there and picks up tw uh, 25 yards. And D'Souza here on second and 10 will be thrown backwards. One yard loss, but that was an excellent job there by D'Souza on the scramble drill. And then Ben Cypher's doing a good job of getting himself open and giving D'Souza uh, a safety valve. As D'Souza now has to just scramble straight up the middle, he'll pick up nine. And I'll bring out the kicking unit and Sean O'Shea for the field goal. 34 to six now for Aurora as the defense comes out. It's the second team defense as they get a pass break up there. Second and 10, here's Leonard. Leonard looking to get to the outside and he is shoved out of bounds. It's a Shida Sakamoto now taking over Ishmael Finn Michaels position. First and 10. Throw out wide. That pressure was bearing down on him. It looked like Corey Jennings coming in there to go ahead and bring the pressure. Now second and ten. Jaunty throws to his left. That one is broken up. It's the sophomore Curtis Campbell. Another name we haven't called yet. As now we're seeing some of the new faces and the possible new team that we'll see here in Aurora in the near future. Third and ten. Pass complete. But not enough there. That is Andrew Nguyen, the free safety, the strong safety, actually able to go ahead and shove him out of bounds, and that'll force them to punt. Aurora will kneel out the rest of the game, and they will go home winners here. And for the third straight game, Aurora's defense holds the opposing offense to under 10 points. 34 to 6, the final here at Red Rock Stadium. And what a game it was for not just the defense, but the offense as well. Despite the turnovers by Chandler Gaines, he looked pretty sharp out there. 14 of 23, 143 yards, two TDs. Again, the three interceptions, the problem. But again, especially with the rush attack, he looked very good today. A great job today by Marcus Timberlake of taking carries to the outside, really using that speed to attack the perimeter. He had three 20-plus yard gains and a long of 42 today on route to a 144-yard performance. Chuck Oferije led the way with receivers, four receptions, 28 yards. That was actually all of his receptions were in that first drive. He didn't catch another pass. And then the two big defensive studs today, Dante Devine with the two interceptions, and then Quentin Cage just causing havoc in the backfield and then causing the forced fumble that was returned for six. The big news here today, though, the third down conversion rate. Four of 11 for New Mexico State, five of 10 for Aurora. And that time of possession always makes the difference when you're talking about the Red Foxes. 20 minutes and 41 seconds to 11 minutes and 19. When you are essentially taking 66% of the game, you're not giving the other team a chance. So yes, with that, Aurora has now won their seventh straight game. We have not lost since week one, and Aurora now has a commanding lead over the Sun Belt Conference, which may mean that next year, we're probably looking at going into a different con conference should we get the invitation to go. I would like to see Aurora face more challenging opponents, and I think that we are starting to finally separate and dominate in the Sun Belt, which uh, does not do well for us in terms of you know providing great competition. Um, I think it's time for us to maybe take the next step, either go Big 12 or go Mountain West. 
In terms of recruiting, we do pick up three this week. It is tight end Josh Shaw, uh, the Durango tight end who we took a look at uh, last, uh, sorry, two weeks ago. Cam Johnson, we end up losing out on. He was a defensive end I really had my eyes on. I thought he would have been a very nice compliment to come in after Rangi Unitoa to pillow Dylan Sherbel. It looks like we're gonna still be relying on Dylan Sherbel and Rangi for next year and then figure out who will come in for Rangi um, afterwards. Rangi has been such a dominant defensive end. Simeon Paul Palmer from uh, Cave Creek, Arizona, as we continue to try to fill out that pipeline and fulfill what I call the full corner strategy and taking over those states uh, helps us out there, the Juco middle linebacker. And then from New Mexico State, we pick up Jamie Oliver. New Mexico State is still one of those four corner states we're trying to pick up and take over as well. Jamie Oliver should help out with that. And I think that he is an excellent defensive tackle that can help out the team as well. We do lose out on uh, one of our own from the state of Colorado, Ryan Cox, the defensive end, but we will still be uh, hot on the trail for a lot of other recruits as we keep an eye on that next week. And I thought one more interesting thing, let's actually take a look at the top 25. I was kind of curious, we've been on a seven game run, there have been some interesting teams up in there, Marshall at number five, Army at number seven, and then you keep going down, there's like UCF, you see uh, Bowling Green getting up there. So I wondered, we're a seven and one team, there's a four and three team in the top 25, where are we? Turns out, we actually did get votes. We are currently, in the running to possibly be ranked next week as we will take on the University of Louisiana Monroe. So check out next week and see if we actually are ranked. We're going to be climbing our way up there if we can. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching.